Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to a new video of Cambridge Arts, and this is the video about the Cambridge Arts reading. And today we are going to complete Arts reading summary. So let's start our today's video. As all of us know that Arts is a language proficiency test. So if anyone want to get high band scores in Arts test, he must have knowledge of the English language. Without the knowledge of English language. It is not possible for anyone to get high band scores in IELTS test. If anyone has a good knowledge of English language, he can get the main idea of the whole summary. And after getting the idea of the whole summary, he can estimate the answers which he has to label in all the blanks. In other words, you can say that he can guess the answers without reading the text into the passage. But it doesn't mean that there is no need to go to the passage to verify his estimated answers. He has to read the text into the passage and he can verify his estimated answers after reading the text into the passage. So it all depends on the knowledge of the English language. If he has any understanding of English language or he can assess the meanings of the words, he can very easily label all the blanks into the summary. Another thing is that if anyone want to get high band scores in IELTS test, he has to learn the synonyms and paraphrases. Because synonyms and paraphrases play a vital role in getting the high band scores in IELTS test. Without learning the synonyms and paraphrases, it is not possible to get the high band scores because in the question section you will find different wordings but in the text you will find the different wordings but if you have knowledge of english language or you have a good command on the synonyms and paraphrases you can assess the right answers from the passage without any problem because the words written into the question sections are not exactly the same into the reading passage. But the meanings of the words which are in the question section and into the reading passage are the same. But their pronunciation and the wordings are different. So without the knowledge of synonyms, it is not possible for anyone to get high band scores in IELTS reading or in overall IELTS test. If you find the names of years or days, names of persons like researchers, scientists or the figures or percentages into the summary, then it will become very easy for anyone to find the answers of the blanks for summary into the reading passage. Try to find the names of days or months or the names of the persons, percentages or figures into the reading passage and your answer will be right there near those words which are the keywords like the names of days, persons or figures. Lastly, try to focus on those words which are after the blank or before the blank into the summary. Because these words will play a vital role in finding the answers of the questions into the reading passage. So try to focus on those words which are before the blank or after the blank. These words will play a vital role in getting the right answers from the reading passage. So let's start our today's test. Question number 22 to 26. Complete the summary below. Choose no more than two words from the passage for each answer. You can write one word or two words but not three words. So you have to be careful. Write your answers in boxes 22 to 26. So before we start, we should read the title of the passage. And the title of the passage is Volcanoes Earth Shattering News. It means that this passage is about volcanoes, magma or lava and gases. And how volcanoes shatter the earth. As you have seen in the start of the video on the thumbnail, no need to read the passage to complete the eyes reading summary. Why I say that? The only reason for that is if you have good knowledge of English, you can guess your answers in reading summary completion. 
even though if you don't have a table of choices. So let's start. Volcanic eruptions have shaped the Earth's land surface. So first of all, you have to know what does it mean by volcanic eruptions. When lava and gases are released from a mountain, it is called volcanic eruption. And so you can say the release of gases and lava from a mountain and mountain which spreads out the gases and lava is called volcano. They may also have produced the world's atmosphere and question number 22 blank. They refer to volcanic eruptions. So we can say volcanic eruptions may also have produced the world's atmosphere and we have to find the other thing which the volcanic eruptions have made. The world produced is a keyword and words like built or made are similar meaning words to produced. In the ninth line of paragraph A, volcanoes have not only made made is the similar meaning word of the world produced into the passage the continents they are also thought to have made the world's first stable atmosphere and provided all the water for oceans rivers and ice caps we have found first stable atmosphere and provided all the water in this summary atmosphere is written and we have to find the other thing which volcanic eruptions have produced that is water so the answer of question number 22 is water they may also have produced the world's atmosphere and water eruptions occur when molten rocks from the earth's mantle rise and expand it means that volcanic eruptions happen when melted rocks rise from the earth's surface. When they become liquid, they refer to molten rocks. It means when molten rocks become liquid, they move more quickly through cracks in the surface. They are different types of eruptions. Now we are going to read about the types of eruptions. Sometimes the question number 23 blank moves slowly and forms outcrops of granite on Earth's surface. So before the blank article D is written, it means our answer is the specific noun. Sometimes moves slowly and forms outcrops of granite on the Earth's surface it means we have to find a noun that moves slowly and it hardens the earth's surface. Granite means solid or hard state and the possible answer is magma or lava because only magma or lava can move when volcanic eruptions happen. Let's go to the passage to verify our answer for question number 23. In paragraph C. These zones are lines of weakness or hot spots. Every eruption is different. Every eruption is different refers to a sentence we have read into the summary. There are different types of eruption. But put at its simplest, where these are weaknesses, Rocks deep in the mantle heated to 1350 centigrade will start to expand and rise. As they do so, the pressure drops and they expand and become liquid and rise more swiftly. It means when the pressure drops, and the rocks expand, the word they refers to rocks and rocks become in liquid state and rocks rise more swiftly or quickly. So we can say that the writer is telling about the liquid state of rocks and the liquid state of rocks is lava or magma. It means lava or magma flows quickly.
when it moves more quickly it means when magma moves more quickly sometimes it is slow and question number 23 into the summary is sometimes the blank slope so into the reading passage it refers to lava or magma so our answer is magma if we continue further vast bubbles of magma molten rock from the mantle inch towards the surface cooling slowly to show through as greenite extrusions we have read about the vast bubbles of magma molten rock show through as greenite these are mentioned into the summary so the correct answer is magma when it moves more quickly it means when magma moves more quickly it may flow out in thick horizontal sheets examples of this type of eruption can be found in northern ireland wales south africa and question number 24 blank it means that the answer of question number 24 is the name of any country or area our answer will be there where northern ireland wales and south africa are mentioned let's go to the passage in paragraph c sometimes as the northern ireland wales and karu in south africa so we have found the names of three countries or areas which are mentioned in the summary let's read further the magma rose faster and then flowed out horizontally on to the surface in vast thick sheets in the deccan plateau in western india there are more than 2 million cubic kilometer of lava so we have found the name of a country or area that is the western india and it is the answer of the question number 24. a third type of eruption occurs when the lava emerges very quickly and question number 25 blank violently quickly and violently are the keywords violently means huge amount of power so if we keep in mind the word violently which means huge amount of power we can guess that our answer for question number 25 is burst or explode because lava can explode or burst through the mountain with huge amount of power let's go to the passage to verify the answer of question number 25 in paragraph c the lava glows with heat it begins to froth froth means liquid state of lava and it explodes with tremendous force tremendous force is similar meaning word of violently into the passage and explodes is the right answer for question number 25 a third type of eruption occurs when lava emerges very quickly and explodes violently. This happens because the magma moves so suddenly that question number 26 blank or omitted. Magma is a keyword, move so suddenly are the keywords, and omitted is also a keyword emitted means giving out the light gas or smell so when the magma moves so suddenly which thing it can emit it can emit gases because magma is a collection of gases so our estimated answer is gases let's go to the passage to verify our answer for question number 26 in the paragraph c sometimes the magma moves very swiftly indeed swiftly means suddenly or quickly word suddenly is mentioned into the summary it means our answer is here it does not have time to cool as it surges upwards the gas is trapped inside the boiling rock it means the gases which are enclosed into the rocks expand suddenly 
expand means spread out so expand or spread out are the similar meaning words of emitted so we can say that when magma moves so suddenly the gases spread out are emit so our verified answer for question number 26 is gases this happens because the magma moves so suddenly that gases are